So do you guys want a great spot, an easy spot for you to earn amazing gear? Well, that's what I bring for you today. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now, before we go any further, do you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this incredible custom Diablo 4 inspired PC? So Skytech Gaming, Intel and Signal RGB have come together to bring you this amazing PC. The swirling potions inside react to your health and resources in real time. This is made possible by the Signal RGB app which syncs RGB devices from any brand to bring you a cohesive lighting experience. The amazing team at Skytech designed and 3D printed this custom PC with performance and cooling in mind. This hand painted chest contains the 13th gen Intel 13600K and the RTX 4070 giving you all the legendary hardware you need to defeat Lilith and save Sanctuary. Now to be with a chance of winning this and to enter this giveaway, click the link in the video description below. Okay so I created a blood corpse necromancer build i posted a video on it about a week ago i got bored of it i completely respect i didn't prep for this i respect completely changed up everything on my paragon board my skill everything guys everything changed it left me broke it left me low on money it left me with basically well in need of gear in gear with better fixes, better aspects, this, that and the other. Now I've been carried through a few uh, nightmare dungeons by my pal. I got a few pieces here and there. But I actually found a farm. A great farm you can do over and over. Doesn't have to be a nightmare dungeon either. It's something everybody can do. And for me, it's absolutely 100% more efficient in earning better gear at a quicker rate. Don't know why, but it definitely is. Now I've just been farming this here and there uh, the amount of uniques i'm getting is it's, this is a lot of my old stuff and obviously i'm gonna get rid of my old gear but yeah i'm getting loads of uniques guys i'm getting not all of these are from it but most of these are from it uniques i mean ancestrals just in general better gear than what i have which i'm putting all in here i'm gonna look at later uh i mean let's you name it guys i'm getting better shit from this place on a way more consistent basis and it's also guys incredible for gold so if you need money if you need that gold this place is incredible to do it okay so it's basically a dungeon the dungeon is this one right here the mercy's reach now i've been running this over and over it is absolutely incredible we're just going to go up to it guys i may have to uh quit out the game to reset it though but well i'll catch you back right there but you can see where it is mercy's reach i'll show you what i gotta do inside of this but it's unbelievable. Okay, so we're at Mercy's Reach. Again, guys, it's right here on the map. Now, enter it. Again, this does not have to be a Nightmare Dungeon at all. So anyone can do this. It doesn't matter what level you are. Now, if you're in my predicament where you need gold, you need better gear, you need better fixes, you need better aspects. This, for me, is by far the most efficient way. This dungeon's relatively quite straightforward. The first objective is to slay... Uh, the night hunters these are normally grouped up together through elites so that's one group of enemies that will drop you decent gear plenty of gold and what we do is you run this efficiently by just running straight through all enemies i don't really stop unless i see an elite or i see a big group which i know will drop me i have a chance of dropping me gear and that's it you can run this dungeon easily in five minutes and in that time you can get a ton of gear i mean there's events as well if you want to do events you can do events i'm just going to demonstrate this to you though guys we ain't got to stop for none of that. Don't want this video going on too long. So I'm just going to try and run past all these ads here. I mean, there's quite a few here you could take out easily. Could, but this is what you want. See the elites? Normal ads just follow you anyway. Take them out. Take them out. Now, my build at the minute is work in progress. It's so squishy. It's unbelievable. I just have to keep moving. I just have to keep moving. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling at the minute because my gear is so low. My aspects are so low to keep up. Even on a level dungeons level with me because my, my gear just isn't right yet but we're getting there and this is a great way for me to actually build so yep yeah, now we've done that we need to go ahead and travel to that unsanctioned uh whatever that says there <laughs> so it's normally a one direct route but obviously as you can know with the, these dungeons they can rotate in regards to the layout and the rng Again, I ain't stopping unless I see an elite. These guys, don't worry about it. We're all past all these. You can take these out if you want. That's up to you. There's a chance they can drop loot, but I just want to do this efficiently. So that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, there's a couple of elites there, which we can come back to. Just going to group all these up. 
We don't waste none of that shit, people. We don't waste none of that shit, people. Now, what I will say is as well, I'm just going to stop for a second here. I've ran this probably 30 times a day. I've spent a ton of, ton of gold. I've got plenty of materials. I've earned a ton of gold. You know how it goes. Well, I've probably got out of, also, out of up to 30 runs. I About five of them, I haven't got a decent ancestral or unique. The rest I always have. So the drop chances I don't think change between um, Nightmare Dungeons and Dungeons in regards to loot drops. XP though wise, this isn't good for XP unless you're below like a level 60 and you can't really do Nightmare Dungeons. But if you can, Nightmare Dungeons are your way forward for XP. There's no two ways about that. So you come to this point guys, where you need to uh, collect things for these pedestals. There's normally two ways you can go. And both of these rooms lead to massive groups of enemies and tons of elites. Now, this may get a bit hard for me, but hey, we'll try it anyway. If we die, we die. Look, look at all these. Look at all these. Okay, so I'm just going to take these out. I'm just going to take these out because, again, easy gold, easy kills. Bone bills, by the way, um, are unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, I mean, I love my build, my four views, my corpses and that, but bone build, it's just a different level, just a different level. And you can see the, this is one group, but look at the amount of ads, all this, all this is, all this is gold, all this is money. So that's one room done, don't bother about picking up the pedestal because we ain't going to do that. We're just going to simply go to the other room now and then take all these guys out. Take all these guys out. I mean, these will normally they follow you in. But if they don't, you can take them out on the way out. So that doesn't really matter. Group up, bitches! There you go. That got a nice legendary sacred there. Like I said, it's always the way, people. This is always the way. It's rare that I run this and don't get something decent. It's rare. And then what I do from here, guys, is I just fast travel back to town. Simple as that. Fast travel back to town. Quit out, go back. But I'd check out my gear first. I'd look at my, my gear first, see what we got. What we don't want, because you normally fill up your stat. You normally fill this up. I mean, look, I've got a couple of spaces. So yeah, you normally fill this up. And again, look at this. 1815. Decent, much an aspect on it. Way better now than what I'm currently using. Not sure about that one, but again, like I said, it's obviously RNG. But there's so much shiz here that I need to look through. And don't, don't dismiss these rares, guys. A lot of people do this. Do not do this. Look at these rares. They sometimes, or a lot of the time, have badass stats on them. So you should always look at these. And what I do is anything I don't want here. So for instance, I know a lot of these I ain't gonna need. Uh, ain't gonna need. Ain't gonna need. And what I'll do is. I'd simply just then go ahead and sell these straight up, straight up sell them, straight up sell them, people. And this is how you make fast gold too. I got first. And if you do this efficiently, guys, you're just gonna earn probably up to a million every five minutes. Easy, guys. I mean, I took my time running that. You can do it way, way quicker than me. There's no two which ways about it, people. So just the mercy's reach dungeon on level with you does not have to be a nightmare is incredible for loot, incredible for gear, incredible for uniques, incredible for ancestrals, incredible for legendaries, incredible for sacred rares, you name it guys. So if you're in my kind of predicament, you're creating a new build, you need better gear than what you currently have, uh, and you want an easy farm, if you're a solo player too, this is one of the better ones I have seen in the game. No, it's not good for XP when you're at my kind of level. I mean, yes, you could get lucky and get a nightmare residual version of this and rinse and repeat that farm as you know you can farm nightmare dungeons you will earn xp in doing that but i mean it makes really no different if you just want to get that loot if you just want to get that gear if you just want to get better gear for your build this is definitely in my opinion the way forward now what i will also say is guys and this dungeon this mercy's reach is home to the Goldman enemy type. The Goldman enemy type have increased drop chances of certain uniques across the board. There are nothing in regards to Necromancer and Rogue, even though I got plenty of uniques from these guys. But Goldman do have increased drop chances for 
the universal uh, unique, the butcher's cleaver. On the sorcerer, the staff of the endless rage and the staff of the lamb essen. On the druid, we have the great staff of the crone and the waxing gibbous, does that say? And on the barbarian, we have the ancient's oath. So from this dungeon, doing how I do this, uh, will give you increased drop chances of these specific uniques too. So remember that, guys. But either or, for me, I'm still getting way more gear doing this, using this spot than I ever did in Nightmare Dungeons. I don't know what it is. Nightmare Dungeons, especially playing solo, take me way longer. I barely get any gear. I definitely don't get as much gold. So yeah, even when I get carried, and I have been carried quite a bit since I respect through the higher level Nightmare Dungeons, Yes, the one at the end is pretty nice, but running through most of them, I barely get anything significant that's going to help my build. This is way more efficient. I get way more drop in a much shorter period. And it's just a lot of the time, a lot of gear. That's just what I need for my build. So yeah, guys, take advantage of this while you can. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.